Hi everyone, I'm Scott from Sharky's Greenhouses and Beat Your Neighbor Fertilizer. Today we're talking about geraniums. Now a lot of people love geraniums and obviously we do too. We grow thousands of geraniums and they perform fabulously. But they do need some care. That's one of the misconceptions about geraniums is that they're one of these plants you can just put out there and they bloom and, and so many business owners come in and they get geraniums because they're gonna put all kinds of geranium baskets or um, pots and planters and then they're just not gonna care for them. Not true. There's a lot of work that goes into geraniums just like everything else, but they certainly have their benefits. They are one of the most drought tolerant uh, flowers that you can get. They do not like being uh, really, really wet. So that's one of the things that you really have to know about geraniums is you cannot just keep overwatering. They have kind of a delicate root system and those roots will rot if you overwater. If you consistently make a bad habit out of overwatering your geraniums, they just will not perform and they will rot down. But we really want to focus in on the cleanup because geraniums, I'm gonna say it's mandatory that you have to clean them up. I think the worst thing that you can do is just have a, you know, this beautiful geranium hanging basket and not clean it up. You know, they, they, they absolutely need that care of basic cleaning up, I'm gonna say about you should check it once a week for sure. And we have thousands of geraniums here and this is, it's a big chore for us. It's one of our chores that we're working on today in our greenhouses. And we have thousands of geraniums that need to be cleaned up. And so we're gonna go into that and then show you, it's really simple, but I wanna make sure that you have the right technique because a lot of people get this wrong. So we have lots of lots of geraniums. Um, in four inch pots and if you haven't seen the video we were just planting these maybe a few weeks ago so if you haven't seen how we were taking these little baby geranium plugs go back and watch that video because we'll show you what those look like they do not look like this now they they've been growing very fast and that's that's the benefit of having a greenhouse but it's those three things that we really preach on and that's good soil that's good care and that's like you're watering your all those good habits and then good fertilizer like our beat your neighbor fertilizer that's the reason when we put those three together that little baby plants little baby geranium plugs just take off so we're going to go through and there's there's a lot of geraniums that need to be cleaned up and i just want to show you how to do that so when we take and we just kind of assess, we look at the geranium and you know something like this that sticks out of, it's a leaf that's got um, some curled edges and it's just, it needs to come off. For, for whatever reason, uh, it doesn't look as good and we're gonna go through, we're gonna clean up. Now these are pretty good. These are probably some of the nicest geraniums we've, we've grown. And um, it's nice to have a little bit less work so we don't have a lot of work today, but you know, when we times that by thousands and thousands of geraniums, there, there's, there's, some, there's some hours that are gonna have to be uh, uh, put into this. So a leaf like this, we're gonna take that off because it's not gonna, it's not gonna fix itself and we just, what's gonna happen is it's gonna turn maybe brown and um, it'll, it'll die down. And what we don't want is a dead leaf sitting on top of the soil rotting down. That, that's just a big no-no when it comes to geraniums uh, because that's where disease can set in. It'll go into the soil, it'll go into the plant. So we want to get rid of any leaves that, that look funky or uh, there's any question about. And we're you're not gonna just pick this leaf off. What we wanna do is take this leaf all the way down and crack it off. I call it cracking it off at the neck. Take it all the way down to that main stem and just snap it right off. And what you're gonna have is the whole thing. You wanna take that whole thing and get rid of it. So I've got a little container here. Uh, I'm just gonna put in, put in all my, my leaves that, that I'm taking off. And right now, if we're in our greenhouses, we want our geraniums to put their energy into growth. So we're starting to get a, a bunch of buds and there's even some flowers and it's pretty, it's very pretty, and especially this early time of year for us to see the, the flowers popping. But for us in the greenhouses, we want this geranium plant to put its energy into growing big and strong. We don't need flowers till a little bit later on when our customers are coming in and, and picking out beautiful geraniums. Right now I want them to grow. So I'm gonna take this pretty uh, flowering stem, I'm gonna take it right off. Uh, 
And I'm gonna do just like I did with the leaf. I'm gonna take it all the way down, take that stem all the way down to the, to the, to the main stem, and I'm just, it just, it's a quick little crack, and it just, you can almost hear it. And you can see this part right here where it connects. It just breaks off very easily. Taking that flower, getting rid of it. We don't want anything falling down on the soil and infecting the rest of the plant. They have a very delicate root system. Now the roots have looked beautiful on these. And I'm, I'll show you, let's see. There's a few, few geraniums that are dry today. I'm, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna be watering, and I'm, today's a fertilizer day, so I'm gonna be going through and fertilizing everything with our Beat Your Neighbor fertilizer, give them a good shot, and get these really going. But you can see we have beautiful growth here on the roots, and it, it's amazing how fast these grow when you have good soil, good fertilizer, good care. Those three, three things add up to success. So we've got a very nice, nice bright white roots and everything's looking really good. And we go through and we check just to make sure everything's going well. More buds are forming on this one. So I, you know, again, I just don't want flowers quite yet. I want the energy in the plant. Go through, snap it right off, take it off. So again, we don't want to leave anything on the soil. That's where we run into, into troubles. And when you have great big containers, like a hanging basket, you're, you're gonna have kind of a jungle, a, a lot of mass of growth of leaves, and you're probably gonna have to dig in there and, and look and find, and, and you'll find some stuff that looks a little bit funky and you wanna get, get rid of that. It'll get a little, little funkiness around leaves that are starting to die down and naturally grow some mold on them. Get rid of them. So here's another leaf and it, it's just got a little bit of brown on it but it doesn't need all this so I'm just gonna go through crack it off take that out so that's really with the geraniums with the care uh, that we're talking about is going through cleaning them up periodically take once a week maybe and at least assess your geraniums that you have at home and go through clean them up and it might be every two weeks but you don't want stuff that's getting funky in there because the geraniums are susceptible to that anything that's sitting and rotting the foliage on the soil you don't want that now i had mentioned that geraniums are they, they don't like to have, I call having wet feet, meaning we don't want those roots real, real wet. So they can go drier. Now, don't make this, you know, the extreme that, oh, Scott said that I can just never water my geraniums. Not true, okay? They can go drier. They don't like to be wet, but they still have to have that, you know, plenty of moisture, just not sitting wet. And I can see that this soil is, is pretty dry, and today, like I said, it's a watering and a fertilizing day. So this one is gonna get, it's gonna get a good drink. This one I can see is a little bit wet and I can feel the difference in the pots. Okay, that, that pot was pretty light. This one's got some heft to it and you can see the dark brown on the soil. It's sitting wet. So when I go through and I'm watering, I'm looking, I'm looking for that. And, and I know that this one's sitting a little bit wet and if I pull this out, you can see how much more moist this soil is. It's wet. I'm gonna pass right over this and he's not really gonna get a drink because he's already sitting wet. So we don't want to overwater the geraniums. Uh, they really like to go drier and geraniums can handle some high heat and I've mentioned this before and we've done a video on this where we showed our hanging baskets uh, we grow our great big geranium hanging baskets up above in our greenhouses and it's up above it's up maybe eight eight nine feet and it gets hot all this heat from the greenhouse rises and it gets if you get up on a step ladder it's sitting at you know in that early early summer or that late spring it can easily every single day be 120 degrees. And guess what? The geraniums absolutely thrive in that heat. So when I have a customer say, you know what, Scott, my geraniums, they just burned up. You know, we live on the lake and, and it just gets so hot on the lake. No, not true. Uh, what happened is you didn't water them. They can handle that heat. They sit in my greenhouse easily 120 plus degrees. I've seen them sitting in 135 degrees and guess what? They thrive. 
They don't mind that heat as long as they're getting care. I make sure that I, they're getting the, the watering, the proper watering, and that they're thriving in that because in that high heat because they're being cared for. So not an excuse, high heat. You can't be like, yeah, I live in Texas and it's really hot. It's not 135 degrees in Texas, all right? So my geraniums can sit in that, in that high heat as long as they're having care. So that's what, you know, that's why we do these videos is we want you to learn. Learn from us uh, these techniques and these principles that you can take and apply at home. So we would really appreciate you giving us a thumbs up on our videos and watching our other videos. We have a lot of how-to videos so be sure to subscribe to our channel to our youtube channel be sure to subscribe give us a thumbs up that really helps us and gets our videos out to other people because youtube kind of looks at it like hey they're doing something right when people are giving a thumbs up and checking that out so the other thing you can do is check out our beatyourneighbor.com website we have a lot of tips and tricks we have the blog articles and of course we have our beat your neighbor fertilizer there and we have a lot of other products so be sure to check that out at beatyourneighbor.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.